Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Necropolis League 3.24. So, uh, in this episode, I wanted to just read these for the first time. I've seen some of them, but I want to just react to the scarabs with you, and uh, yeah, let's go. So, then they also have limits, uh, and these are the new scarabs made by Octavian. So, 200% increased uh, unique items if you use two. Uh, okay. Uh, unique monsters in area drop an additional unique item. You can only have one. Overlords. Uh, this is the Nameless Seer, which is that, like, we walk up to an NPC, and then it's, like, a window, um, a vendor of a bunch of uniques, and normally you would have traded in all your dust, or your wisp, your wisps from the, from the Wildwood, uh, and, but here you'll just get one unique, you pick one unique, uh, so... Only two of these, 200% uh, increased, and it's increased, not more. Um, and then it's increased unique, so this is an additional one from unique monsters. So if you could get a lot of unique monsters on your map, uh, pretty cool. Pretty rogue exiles. Uh, Nico as the first sulfite scarab, so cheap sulfite. Um, way more sulfite, and you can only use one. So you can't have four Nikos and have like 12 Sulfite nodes running at like a billion moves to be with 12 max res. Um, and then they did Strongbox and Rage Sulfite. So this sounds pretty crazy. 500 quant on the monsters. Affected by the Enraging Fumes, which happens when you click on the thing, I think. So it'll happen three times. Uh, and then this is increased Div cards 150%. And it's two, so 300 yeah, that's a lot of increased div cards, and then they also said something about increasing the div cards from the maps by two and a half times because of the change to the stacked decks or whatever. Um, so you could like target farm div cards more, uh, and then that using two div scarabs of curation. So this is the one they showed where you pick a bunch of different favored maps, and then so an example was like you could do Crimson Temple and other like defiled cathedral and all these ones where you could get apothecary maybe you pick like burial chambers and just do all the doctor ones too and then uh <laughs> you could drop divs from there like doctor and apothecary without even running the map um div cards dropped in areas are replaced by those of your favorite in maps but then the problem is you'd be dropping the maps of those favored instead of the one you're running uh so that's the only problem because you usually need to use your favored maps to get your map sustain. So unless... Like, how are you going to sustain it? Uh, what's this? Div cards will drop in areas, have a 20% chance to drop as a full stack. Nice. So the winged ones, most of my thing is, like, rare. Um, so how much we'll actually be able to use them, unless we're, like, group play? Then, yeah, we'll see... And then Scarabs still have a limit of 4, and some of these are like limit 1, limit 2, um, but then some you can use multiple, like 4, like this one. So, Anarchy. Oh, I skipped it. I skipped 4, Torment. Uh, 5 additional Tormented Spirits, so you could have 20. Uh, tormented Spirits in areas are replaced with Unusual Variants. So, 15 with Unusual uh, tormented spirits in area have a 25% chance to be set free when possessed monsters are slain. Whoa, more tormented spirits? Could it go infinite? And that's only gilded. Anarchy, 4 rogue exiles, so 16. Rogue exiles in an area have 30% chance to be replaced with a rogue giant. What's a rogue giant? And you can have two, so 60% chance. Gigantification. It says the consumption of sulfite can cause strange growth. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, anarchy scarab of partnership. Rogue exiles in areas have a 50% chance to appear in pairs. <laughs> Jesus. That's just 50% more, right? So there's... If this is 16... Let's not count anything else. Let's not even worry about that. 16, so let's say 12. And then 50% more. 
Six. Yeah, this is more than that. And that's without counting other additional rogue XL, so we should be able to get more sources. So this one's really good. Combined with this and the tree and the other rogue XL stuff. Uh rerolling favors at ritual altars and areas have no cost the first two times. So it's normally like two thousand or fourteen hundred reduced with the tree. So it would save you like 4k to 2800 uh favor ritual altars and area allow re-rolling favors one additional time a uh, limit of two so you could re-roll three times i mean well twice but the original also because it's an additional time you already get to re-roll right so another two uh and then we have recognition unique enemies slain at ritual altars and area grant 200 percent more tribute <laughs> See, yeah, you do it and you get bosses, rogue exiles, and delirium, and get those uniques in there. Goddamn. Yeah, they do give more, but... <laughs> Alright, that's good to focus on that. It's also, they're hard, they're difficult. Uh, ritual and area offer 100% increased favors. More tribute, more favors. Wait, what's the diff? <laughs> the grove guaranteed on a rusted? Where's the... So there's some missing. We're missing the wings, and then we're missing here the... <laughs> rusted, gilded... What the fuck was this one called? <laughs> So yeah, we have the Sacred Grove, and then Life Force Drop by Harvest Monsters and Area is duplicated. Huge. The 100% more life is fine, because getting double the Life Force is huge. Um, If Area contains... It, this is a... Winged. So if Area contains the Sacred Grove, it will contain up to one additional Tier 4 seed of each type, if possible. Up to one of each type, so three. So zero to three. Area contains Einhar. Okay. Five additional red beasts if contains Einhar. So you have to combine it. Create a copy of beasts captured in area. Oh, and then we have area contains the black Morgan if it contains Einhar. So the Black Morgan was that dude in the Wisp thing that gave a lot of Wisps, but yeah, we'll see what it what it does here. Uh, add Shaper Influence outcome to the area. Easy. And Elder. They're both rusted. Um, I don't know where the <laughs> the silver one is. Influence monster packs in areas have 40% increased pack size, so it's just the Elder or the Shaper. It might uh, apply to the Eldritch as well, like the Eater and the Searing Exarch, I'm not sure. Tier 14 maps found in areas have a chance to drop as Shaper, Guardian, Elder, Guardian, Conqueror, Unique, Synthesis maps instead. How much? 1%. Uh, area contains three additional Harbies. That's a lot of Harbies. Harbies in area drop rarer currency shards. Harbies in area drop a single type of currency shard. <laughs> Jesus. Mirror shard, fracturing shard. And then they can upgrade, maybe. 50% by a boss. Limit of. Where's the two? 100 boss! Okay. Uh, currency shards dropped by Harby and area are duplicated. In area drop rarer currency shards. They don't upgrade. Is that from the tree? I think it's from the tree actually. To abyss. Hundred and fifty percent increased monsters. Rare abyss monsters have a fifty percent chance to drop an additional rare item with an abyssal socket. What the fuck? That's so cool. <laughs> Uh, Spire, guaranteed on the gold. 
gilded with uh, spawn hordes as they travel. People will like that. Two additional essence. Essence found tier higher. Remnant of corruption in area can only result in upgrading or transforming essence. Big. All rare monsters in area are imprisoned by essence. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said the winged ones are rare. And then it... Well, the economy is gonna... Pick some up that they find that they want really badly. Especially when you combine these. Like, instead of freeing them in the other shit, uh... Yeah. Two shrines. Wait, domination shrine... Um, scarabs? Wait, were these just all the old ones and what's happened? Yeah, now we get interesting. Well, also, essence is new, actually. But it was because we lost the... Sexton, so actually, good point. This is because of Sextons. Two shrines. An additional unusual shrine. What's an unusual shrine? Shrine buffs also grant 30% increased XP gain. Uh, shrines in areas are guarded by an additional map boss. Uh, modifiers to the final map boss also apply to these guardians. What the fuck? Six more map bosses just with this. <laughs> That's, pre <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we got Alpha. 12 to 16 packs of Incursion Monsters. Wait, that's without the Alva? And they can probably drop the, uh, the items with the mods. And we might actually use them. Huh. Incursions in area, because then they might be able to drop a higher... Yo, hmm. And then T17. That might work out. Incursions in areas have a 35% chance for all monsters to be at least magic. Uh, incursions, and you can have two. Uh, 15 increased pack size in the incursion. Final Architect line in area will drop an itemized temple. So if you use this on the last uh, map of your making a temple, on that last architect, it'll drop a full temple. Don't use it while you're creating the temple, only at the end to so use it every like four maps. Itemized uh, temples dropped, or uh, unless you have four per map, then it would be three maps. But yeah, um, itemized temples dropped in areas are generated based on current temple layout, but with randomized room tiers. So even if you get like, as long as you have the double corruption or um, Doriani, the gem room, and it doesn't matter the tiers, because I can upgrade them. Oh, we got June. Oh, we have increased int gained from immortal syndicates targeted uh, targets encountered in area. Huge int. Uh, mortal syndicate members in area have fifty percent chance to be accompanied by reinforcements. Uh, these are limits of one. Defeated immortal syndicate member uh, targets in area have a fifty percent chance to drop an additional scarab. That's big. Two. Winged. Rare. Uh, blight. So I was wondering because we saw some of this other shit, where it's saying like. <laughs> Four, five, yeah. I was like, how many blight? One. Limit of one. Because you can't. Blight chested area have a 20% chance to be openable again. Limit of two. What the fuck? Blight oils found in area are one tier higher. Wait, but isn't that on the tree? Wait. Limit of one. So, can we double... Holy shit. Two tiers higher. What? <laughs> what? What's this named? Of oils! It's true. Strike deep into the pulse of the fungus. Ew. <laughs> oh, what? Blight encounters in area have up to three additional unique bosses. Ugh. Ugh. Unique enemies in blight encounters have 100% increased life. Ugh. The fuck is this? The tier 14 blighted maps found in area dropped at bl drop as blight ravage maps instead. What the fuck? 
You devalue my Blight map farming Blight Ravage maps. The Blight Ravage maps will be cheap. Hmm. Uh, once a century, the Blight spills forth. Interesting. Of blooming. <laughs> cheap Blight Ravage maps. I guess it's not a bad thing. But, like, those people who run these? Oh, God, dude. Unique bosses. With, oh, ooh, that's some good shit. And be tanky. And you get that layout. I'm just imagining the layout where you don't get a tower. And then the portal spawns really close to the pump. And then <laughs> and you're just like, what is this? And you used a winged. So, yeah, I would actually, wait, maybe this won't have as big of an impact as I think because it's a winged. I forgot. I'm thinking, wow, that's so crazy, but actually, yeah, rare. So this could be this cool. That's cool. Nice. You got me going. <laughs> four, four breach. For a limit of four, eight breaches. What the fuck? Chayula. We saw, I saw these on um, watching the podcast with Mark. Breach lords. So Chayula, breach lord, breaches. Uh, more. And, but this is only breach splinters. See how they give you the option of getting, um, full, like, big, uh, You get the full thing, don't you? You get like a full one. This is splinters. This is a full thing. You get a choice of do I want to pick up splinters or do I want bosses? And uh, there was a reality before where if you didn't have the deeps for the bosses, then uh, they despawn and the b breach goes away. But then you could run the thing that makes breach not faster and then it's slower where you have more time to kill the boss. But then um, like the breach splinters is just free loot where this is actually fighting a boss so there is that difficulty but usually this should be better especially the less um less clicks and one click being so satisfying <laughs> breaches in areas have five to ten additional class pan class pans in areas are guarded by a rare breach monster what the fuck wait that's so many because there's so many hands i thought this was one per breach and i was like that doesn't sound like a lot of rares oh it's okay 50 percent increased maps up to 100 percent two uh maps found in area are a tier higher up to t16 so no cheese for t17 the alternate one unique map uh will drop from the final map boss combine this with my other thing ritual but wasn't it my giga ritual or is it a normal one Wait, it wasn't even ritual. Oh, God. Oh, it's this one. It's my shrine. Right, right. Shrine winged. Yeah, that's... Might be too rare. <laughs> but technically... Yo! Unique maps! Uh, Non-unique maps? Not, not really, but... Because of the cost of that, probably. Non-unique maps found in areas are corrupted with eight modifiers. The sextant. F uh, maps found in areas have 30% chance to be duplicate. <laughs> Dude, on the on the winged? Okay, so this is good. You got maps to stay in, especially using two of them. And you can upgrade your maps. So if you did need this for sustain, you can still use it. And then winged going crazy. Um... It's, it's, I'm just thinking about the expense. I'm like, rare. <laughs> okay, because we don't know yet, but I just assume expensive, rare, if they're good. Which, like, that is good, but... Right? It's the winged. Ambush. Uh, 20 strong boxes. <laughs> Bro, my div cards. No, this should be good, especially with the div card buff, and then with the div card scarabs, potentially, or just strong boxes. Um, because you don't just get divs, but, uh, strong box, openable again, one, okay, 15%, so it's like the tree, 
And then uh, increased effect of explicit modifiers on the strongbox in area. I don't know how much we want this. You know, you may want this for some specific when it comes together and it makes some items drop. But like at the same time, difficulty. Ooh, some modifiers can't be increased. So like it died shouldn't it shouldn't do anything to a DD or the Frost Nova. And there's like a lot of the mods where it's not going to do anything. But uh, the, the, there's even the Rogue Exile, right? Like there's a lot that it shouldn't do anything, but there's some that it will uh and then eric i guess it, it could be beneficial hmm. potency the locksmith dreams of building a better box true <laughs> uh <laughs> area contains many additional strong boxes area inhabitants are lying in ambush so this is your uh monstrous treasure and then th that's the winged, so rare, expensive. Ambush Scarab of Discernment, which they said they removed it from the tree, which removed it from your map device. So it's only through this Scarab now. Um, This wasn't even the Sextant. This is actually a nerf to the tree. <clears throat> but I guess some people could see this as a buff because maybe they'll now interact with this more because the other thing was only a small chance and you actually had to run the map sustain thing and then maybe you weren't even running that node so you actually had no chance of ever getting the <laughs> anyways strong boxes in area are more likely to be rarer ver varieties also i think maybe we could have got it last season as a thing like an omen or something i don't know strong box in area are more likely to be rarer ver varieties Ooh, but it's a winged rare Jesus, unique strong boxes. Just a fucking whole map of unique strong box. <laughs> what the fuck? That would be crazy. Expedition one. Yo, is it blight? You can't do more than one. Uh, expedition encounters in area have a hundred percent increased number of runic monster markers, and you can have two. Jesus. Expedition encounters in areas have a 20% increased number of explosives and 80% increased explosive radius. What about the placement range? <laughs> uh, dude, the placement range. Expedition encounters in areas are led by Danik. You won. GG. Gilded Scarab of the best. Rev remnants in expedition encounters in area have two additional suffixes and prefixes. Remnants in expedition encounters in areas have two additional suffixes and prefixes. What the fuck? Winged, going crazy, rare, expensive, but like what the hell? And then this one is obviously good, uh, and you may not even need this, so like. Because when you actually, every time when you get used to expedition, you're like, yeah, I'm good on the bombs usually. Except, because your tree should give you another one, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you used to use the Scarab for one, but. Legion 4! <laughs> <laughs> what good is peace to a warrior? Wait, okay. I was gonna say, is there. It's just Legion Scarab. Then we have this one. Factory. Factions in areas have five additional sergeants. Even a battlefield has middle management of officers of command. Legion factions in areas are accompanied by a general. Remember, guys, you don't want this. <laughs> what? Yeah, trust me. Do not general do this one. Okay. Because then we could sergeant with our tree to get more loot. Uh, and then we have Marikath. What the fuck? Holy shit, the Sakema. Oh my god. Wait. Cut off the head and the snake will perish. <laughs> Storms of blood stained sand will drown the enemies of the America. Yeah, true, the sand. Don't ever forget about the sand, boys. Jesus. 
Legion monsters and areas can be broken out of stasis multiple times. An eternity of blood glorious. So it turns, you see how it's eternal conflict? It turns Legion into the domain of timeless conflict, but in a map. So it's like the five way, four ways in a map. You just keep breaking them out and printing loot. <laughs> you just stack on one dude. Okay. Instead of running and clear, or you clear the whole entire legion in one click, and you click multiple times, and you're just full clearing the whole legion and just printing massive loots, yeah. And what if it could be better than the, this is like the new endgame, T17 legion, breaking out the thing multiple times, multiple per map, uh, with the giga loot, and it's better than the four-way or five-way legions, imagine. Okay. Ooh. Legion League. Melee's back, dude. Full screen melee. Uh, beyond. Uh, just beyond in the area. Then we have 30% uh, merging radius of the beyond portals. Limit of two. Uh, beyond bosses are enraged on low life. Uh, beyond bosses drop 100% increased tainted currency. Beyond portals uh, have a 30% increased chance to spawn a unique boss. Now the actual one. Items dropped by Beyond Demons in area are corrupted. People will love that. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Unique monsters in an area create 8 to 12 additional Beyond Portals. Jesus. Well, that's why it's winged. Rare. Uh, the Faded Hour is almost nigh. Their very flesh exudes corruption. They hunger. No, stop. Not the hunger. Reality itself begins to bleed. The silent wall and the raging storm oppose the endless swarm. <laughs> uh, ultimatum. Oh, shit. Here we go. A challenge may be requested at any time. Damn. One. Ultimatum Scarab of Bribing. The ultimatum monsters grant increased XP. Ultimatum encounters grant rewards as though you completed two additional rounds. A trial is only as incorruptible as its judge. Ultimatum Scarab of Dueling. Ultimatum encounters an area will always lead to a unique boss if possible. Trial Master. Victory is meaningless. Failure will be mocked. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's the Trial Master. Catalyzing. Only catalyst. That's crazy. Winged. Most regret finding out how the powder is made. <laughs> Do they? Dude, how it's made. It's a show. Look it up. Uh, nice. Inscription. Ultimate ultimatum encounter rewards an area offering catalyst will offer inscribed ultimatums instead. Wait, can you put this with this? So it offers only catalysts and it offers only inscribed ultimatums. There is always a wager to be made if you can afford it. Jesus Christ. You just get rid of all his loot and just get random inscribed ultimatums instead? Holy shit. And fight the boss? <laughs> uh, area contains a deli mirror. Big. Innocuous scarab that does nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mania. The bar fills faster. That's good. More loot. Uh, gets harder too. Uh, paranoia. In area, generate two additional reward types. Yeah, that's huge. Neurosis. Delirium encounters in area contain all unique delirium bosses. <laughs> I do. That's crazy because I never get them. 
Like, I do maps, I never get them. Now I always get them. You could actually take the tree that gives you shit for- Holy moly. That one's so cool. Toothy grin shine in the dark. Because <laughs> it's the bosses. If it seems too good to be true. Hmm? Paranoia. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, huh? This is good. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, they're trying to make me paranoid, dude. Delusions. Maps found in area have layers of delirium. All of them? What are you talking about? The Atlas was always like this. <laughs> True. That's what we used to do. 100% sustaining layers of Delhi. Without putting any orbs of Deli on. Uh, you can just increase your magic pack size with this Misk one. That's pretty big. Especially combined with uh, immediately Incursion. Because you made 70% of the Incursion magic. If you... If we don't have the tree thing. We should have the tree thing. But, that's big. Uh, four additional packs with mirrored rare monsters. Can that give reflect? <laughs> or is that, oh, that's just our mirrored one from the sextant. Right, 40 to, a 60, 40 to 60 additional clusters of mysterious barrels... Holy shit, how OP are barrels? Hunted traders, big. They kept it. You can combine this with ritual. Uh, scarab of stability. What the fuck? So it's scarab... Okay, so it's just... The f portals to area have 50% chance to not be consumed on use. Wait, portals? You could have infinite portals? If you get lucky enough. I thought this was sextants. I mean the scarabs. Weren't being consumed. But it's portals? Hmm. Is this the one that was... Was it one of these? Oh yeah. Other scarabs are not consumed on use. Yeah. I was like I thought I saw that. I thought that was that. My bad. It's this one. So horn scarab of preservation. All their scarabs are not consumed. So you, if you find some crazy winged ones, you might end up actually using them. So where I was saying the blight one might not be used. Well, if you get one of these. Oh, these still get consumed. So then the point that somebody typed in the Twitch chat immediately was if. Well, this will just be the price of the three most expensive um, combined because it saves those three. And so the economy should just raise this up to whatever those are. And so unless you're running the most expensive wing scarab strat, you're not going to be running this. But anyways, uh, horn scarab above bloodlines because it still gets consumed. I first originally thought, oh my god, infinite scarabs. No, because this gets consumed. Well, you could just buy this and then you don't have to buy all the other scarabs and you technically don't have to do as many trades. And that's probably why this will be more expensive. Um... But also, if people don't know what the expensive ones are, and they don't are doing the strat, maybe you're doing the strat, and maybe you can actually use it, I don't know. Oh yeah, all monster packs in area are at least magic. Oh, use this with these ones, you would never use the winged. All magic doesn't get consumed. Rare monsters have two additional mods with the fucking headhunter big. Nemesis, bloodlines, awakening... Yeah, that's why you would use it. This would have the cost of these three combined. Oh my god. You can select one imbued crafting option on the map device. Those were huge. The imbued ones were so much better than the regular map device mods. All rare monsters... Like, I have to look that up separately, basically. Uh, all rare monsters in area have at least one reward modifier. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, this was the other way around. This was the no, the no quant. <laughs> this is the no magic find. Just having monsters with reward modifiers, kind of like, uh, 
fucking metamorph for a legion or this is sick or might also could be like expedition kind of comparison so sick and then they said that party quant still works so that's why i was saying that this league might promote us to be party because of the cost of the scarabs and then how things work out that the if there's such a high cost um, it's not worth running alone because the way people think of it is they go, oh, the guy can buff my loot by 50%, which it isn't exactly because it's quantity. Oh, it's like more quant or something. Um, and it could be like built with, with, which this one would disable the building with of the character. But if you um, had two people, the main benefit is that you get 50% increased or, or more quant on, and rarity on the, uh, on all of the loot, and it, the cost is the same, and so when you bring, like, five people, you get the 250%, and then, uh, the cost stays the same, so you've now, even though technically each of you makes less per hour of pure, um, revenue the profit is like you know you take your revenue minus the cost and you get your profit and so um you would have to I include the cost so if a solo player spends six times more because they'd have to run like so you wouldn't worry about splitting the the loot because you actually kept the cost low and then you kind of just printed extra loot effectively even though you split it as long and then technically if you split the cost because most people assume that like one person would take the cost and then they add somebody in and now they're just giving up their loot and, and the buff doesn't make up for the extra loot that they're giving away but actually it would actually just be bonus loot free loot party plays insane and this league might be um driving us to party play or <laughs> Uh, players in area can gain increase, uh, gain increase item rarity and item quantity for each monster slain recently, up to 200 quant and rarity, or 200 rarity and quant, and 100 quant. Big. So you would just have to kill. Does it give one percent? It doesn't say how much. I was expecting it to say two and one, and then be 200 and 100, but I don't know. But I, I assume 100 monsters. That's not that bad. And then monster packs in uh, area have a 15% chance to be replaced by a random atlas boss. Which, uh, this is crazy, because the other one was just the shrine. Each shrine would have a map boss, but now this is every... So this is like the bigger version of the shrines. And this was an additional map boss. This is random map boss. Modifiers to the final map boss also apply to these Atlas bosses. Yeah. So, Scarabs are big. Sextants are gone. F only four still. We don't get more. And we'll have to see what the tree is like. And the prices of everything will matter. But uh, this is really cool. And it'll also depend on how some of this stuff feels after the changes. Like strong uh, strong boxes, the div cards. Wow. Thank you to my Patreon YouTube members uh, who support the channel. Rico549, Joe oh, No Mercy, uh, David, Stephen, Hannes, Cynic, and Sanchin, and then Nicholas and White Wolf. Thank you guys so much. Bye!